Anyway, let's start now. Goodbye, Lava. Oh, that's not really important because it's out of the boundaries. Out of bounds. We'll put one here, one here. And let's go to this corner. And here are a little bit like that side so flows in both directions. Get more water. Oh, that's not good. We have to avoid leaving dry spots around here. Because any dry spots will lower, lower the spawning rates of the slimes. Then here a bit of water or like that perhaps. Um, need more water and let's make an infinite spring over here water there there That's all flooded. You probably can't see anything on YouTube. And I'll just put gravel in there. Okay, I have finally finished it. All the levels are flooded. It took me a long time. I was having fun at first, but then it became boring. Uh, but I definitely recommend this rather than putting half slabs all over the caves because that would be even more boring and would take even a longer time. We will just do one more thing real quick. I will show you how to make the x-ray machine that I showed you in the last episode. Because I believe many of you have, wonder have been wondering how to make it. Well, here it is. You'll need a piece of TNT, some ladders, some redstone, some sticky pistons, and a lever, yes. So, I hope there won't be any caves right here, because that would really be annoying. First dig down a hole like this, then do a hole in a hole like that I'll just put a torch so you can see put pistons back there and a block down here TNT on top of it and this is the TNT that comes into our head and causes the x-ray effect 
at the legs it doesn't really matter uh, what you have I mean uh, which block is stuck in your legs I just put that down temporary so I can get up but basically put two redstone here this powers both pistons one's below this one and there's this one make sure you have enough tools with you so such awkward moments as this one don't happen to you and we need to keep that this high that's enough uh, actually not that far because there will be the lever right here and this powers the redstone that powers the pistons we can cover that make sure it is lit in here uh, because mobs can sp uh, can spawn right here for example uh, they can spawn on redstone and we really don't want creepers inside our machines do we and zombies that would be pretty no annoying so this torch is disturbing flip the lever and you see everything uh, the reason why that right there seems unflooded is that um, you with the x-ray machine you actually see through water as well so if there was an ocean nearby or something I would see right through it well I believe I would because I don't see the water right there but believe me that is really flooded I made sure everything is flooded nicely and uh, to get out of this machine just jump You'd, uh, you'll get on top of TNT and then when you want to use the machine again flip this lever twice and here you are again by the way if glowstone is easier for you to get than TNT you can use glowstone just as well it, wor it works perfectly and you can also use leaves but then uh, you can't use pistons uh, to push leaves into a head because uh, leaves simply disappear when they are pushed by pistons you would have to use bolts to get your head inside the leaves and that gets pretty complicated if you uh, want to make it nearly automatic like this one is so leaves aren't really recommended <laughs> looks like the mushroom farm will have to wait one more episode because that is all for today it's the end of the episode bye bye see you next time